There's a saying that money makes the world go round. Even in the face of bottlenecks such as the COVID-19 pandemic, positive business prospects are driving investments, for instance, in Forex, with some eyeing huge infrastructure projects recently earmarked by government. We know that there has been a call from government that people should take advantage of the investments which are coming in. So, Hyper Forex Bureau is coming in to take advantage of the business which is coming. Uh, certainly, we are from COVID-19 situation. There has been a lockdown. We are into curfew. So business has been low. And we know that whenever business is low, people always adopt the means of recovery. So we expect that very soon, business is coming up again because people are going to try to recover from the depression which has been caused by COVID situation. But this confidence too comes amid the slow business activity where those in the forex business a financial services arm that supports largely traders are dealing with economic uncertainties characterized by low demand as a result of the pandemic. The import demand is literally uh, down or flat, so to speak, because uh, there's no need, there's no demand for imports, really. So stocks uh, piles are there. Uh, when clients, we have many import, importers who used to demand quite a bit of dollars, but have been on the fence for the last uh, eight or nine months because stocks are not going. There's no demand. The Uganda shilling, for instance, has seen relative stability February and March, appreciating 2.9% year on year and 1% on a monthly basis at levels 3,662, further appreciating to 3,540 and 3,550. To some traders, quite discomforting. From around uh, February to March, at least um, the rates are not really uh, declining at a rapid speed. But uh, for the month of April to around uh, May, where we are now, you find that the dollar has decreased to about uh, 3,500. But there is renewed hope for the return to normalcy, despite a high degree of uncertainty in light of the economic outlook by the central bank recently, with financial services very eager to take the lead in this recovery. We've finished an election in Uganda. So for the coming five years, we are stable. We are not into electioneering. So meaning government is going to business. Set the ball rolling.